what we are dealing with today is not political. It has nothing to do with Democrats. It has nothing to do with Republicans or independents. And it has nothing to do with the political squabbling that we see here every day on Capitol Hill. What we are dealing with today is physics. What this bill does is address the crisis. It can reverse greenhouse gas emissions in a very significant way. It can create millions of jobs as we transform our energy system away from fossil fuel and into energy efficiency and such sustainable energies as wind, solar, geothermal, and biomass. We're not waiting. We can't wait. We have to lead. And when we lead, it matters. I want to thank Senator Sanders. Thank you to my staff. I want to thank Senator Sanders for crafting a very straightforward and smart bill. The thing I've learned about Bernie working with him over the years is that you know when you speak with him, it's straight from the shoulder talk. There's no, you know, dancing around. And this bill reflects that. And that's why I like it. It's clear. It's simple to understand. And it's a good, good bill. The Sierra Club is proud to support this bill. We recognize that it will put a fee on carbon and it will help to stimulate clean energy development. It will do what science requires and reduce greenhouse gas emissions as quickly as we can. It will create 350,000 new jobs and sustain at least 100,000 more. It will help to weatherize a million homes per year, which will act like a tax cut and help consumers to save money all across the country. So we regard this as a thoughtful, principled, and very timely action. I think a lot of people wonder, maybe still wonder, whether our political system is up to this task. For a quarter century, it has done very little. But we're now at the point where there is no abstraction or theory about this problem. 2012 was the warmest year that the United States has ever seen by a full degree. We had a horrific drought. We watched the Arctic melt. And at the end of the year, we watched uh, the Atlantic pour into the New York City subway system, demonstrating to anyone the fragility of our civilization. That's why it is so powerful to see this legislation being introduced at this time and to see so many Americans pouring into Washington to demand just this kind of action.